What's happening, guys? I've got this 2005 Tahoe hood that I've got to refinish on the top side. It's going onto a white Tahoe, so I don't have to paint the inside. But uh, the paint's cracked really bad, mostly right in here. But uh, you can see all over the hood, there's cracks. Really, all over the all over the surface, except maybe maybe right here on the edges. There's still some here, actually. It's all over. It's just peeling in the center. One tiny rock chip with a dent there I've got to fix. There's a few other rock chips, but that'll come off when I sand everything off. Just going to have to strip this. I'm going to start with 80 grit. I'm only going to go as far as I have to to get the cracks out. And they're all the way down through the base coat, I believe. So I'm going to have to go at least to the primer, which is super thin. So I'll end up probably going to the, to the metal in a lot of places. I'm going to wipe it down really good just to clean it before I start sanding. And you know, go straight to 80 grit on the DA. Okay, sanding this is taking forever, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of this uh, base coat, clear coat peeler that I've had. I've had this for several years and never did did use it. Uh, it didn't work with what I was wanting to do with it. Uh, you probably hear this. I sprayed it on here two or three minutes ago. Just listen to it. Maybe you can hear it. It's just popping the finish off. I think I'm going to go ahead and just spray this. This will probably pull all the paint off for me in about five or ten minutes, so that'll save me a ton of time. I'm going to go ahead and spray this down. Be back when I got it wrinkled off. Okay, I guess it's safe to say this stuff works. This is pretty sweet. I think I used it on that 69 Camaro that I painted a couple of years ago. Whatever finish was on the car, I didn't like it. This is this is really for base coat, clear coat. And I was using it on some... Uh, probably acrylic enamel or whatever was on that that old Camaro but this saved me probably two hours let me grab something to scrape this with I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a spreader to take it off they say you can blow it off but that'd make a nice mess it basically just takes it straight down to the primer and it says it won't harm, harm the primer but I'm gonna go through it anyway just because I need to get the all the cracks out but I'm gonna spray maybe a little bit more on these spots that didn't completely come off but I'd say 90% of it's just gonna fall right off this stuff's amazing maybe something else out there that's just as good but this is the only thing I've tried I've actually tried their uh, aircraft uh, brush on liquid in a gallon but uh, this is the first time I've actually used that aerosol. I've had it for two or three years. This is pretty sweet. This saved me a ton of time. I'm going to let it finish up what it's going to do. And uh, scrape all this off. And I'll come back uh, in some spots, like right in here where it didn't take it off. It softened it, but it didn't, didn't peel it up. I'll spray those spots again let it sit for a few minutes. I have very little left. I used just about that whole can on the hood, but it was definitely worth it. I'll be getting some more of that. I'll be back when I get it completely stripped. Okay, I've got it piled up on the center of the hood. All this is loose. Well, these spots that are left over, I think I'm just going to sand them off because i got to sand this anyway. And I really don't have a whole lot of that peeler left. But uh, I really didn't do a whole lot to the factory primer like it said on the can. They say you can just spray this on and blow it off as long as you wipe it down with wax and grease remover after that, you're good. But I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to wash it really well to try to get any of this stuff off here that may have bled through. And I intentionally didn't spray it right on the edge. I just sprayed it probably an inch within, uh, within an inch of the edge just so I wouldn't get anything that wrapped around and ate the inside off. But I'm going to get this cleaned up and go back after it with... Uh, 80 grit and then I'll end up going over the whole thing with 180 just to kind of refine that and then I'm going to shoot some epoxy over it. Alright I've sanded all the leftover spots off with 80 grit. I'm going to go through and try to take take this primer down uh, just kind of hit it and start it with 80 and I'm going to go over this whole thing with 180 and try to get most of the primer off so I can start with just a bare surface and then I'll hit it with some epoxy. Earlier I did mean to say that even if I was going to use that uh, paint stripper from the very beginning, I would have gone over it with 80 anyway to break the, break the paint open so that that chemical can get down inside it. 
So that's a good idea. If you're going to strip it anyway uh, from the get-go, just go ahead and scuff it so the chemical can eat down inside it easier. I'll be back when I get ready to, to epoxy this. All right, it's ready for epoxy, but I'm going to do one last thing. Everywhere I've got a little, a little rusty paint chip like that, I'm going to take the spot blaster and just sandblast that one little spot. It's That, that hole's probably 10 or 12 millimeter diameter. It'll just leave me a little clean spot right there, right there. All these little spots where I've got uh, rusty paint chips right there. There seems to be more on the right side over here. Here. That's actually a small dent, so I'm going to blast that as well and put a little filler in it. That's really the only body work I have to do. I'm going to hit all these spots and it'll be ready to go once I get some filler on it. Okay, I've got it ready for epoxy. It's set here in bare metal for about three days. So I'm going to run over uh, the whole hood with a Scotch-Brite just to take off any flash rust. You can't see it, but it's, it starts to form within probably half a day. I want to trap that in there. So I'm just going to scuff it the best I can and wipe it down one more time. I've got this area right here where there was that small dent. You can probably see it. You got that blocked out. And all the dark spots in here are the sandblaster on the rock chips. So I'm going to run over with the scotch Sprite real quick and I'll be back for the primer. I've got it mixed up and it's got to sit for a 30 minute induction time before I can spray it. Uh, less than, I believe, 70 degrees. I have to wait an hour, but it's about 76 or 7 in here now. So I'll be back when I get ready for the epoxy to go on. Okay, I'm ready to shoot the epoxy on the hood. I'm going to give it, give it one coat. I let it flash for probably 45 minutes to an hour, then I can put the uh, probably two to three coats of uh, 2K high build urethane. gun's acting up a little bit, but it's okay enough to get through this. I'm going to go fix it after this hood. fix the spray gun be back in a minute I've got the primer with the guide coat this is set up for probably a week I'm gonna run over this with a DA just until I get it flat in the large areas I'll get the guide coat to disappear and I'm gonna put the soft interface pad on it for this area in here and the front of it that's gonna be good enough for this hood he said he doesn't want it to be perfect I'm going to get it obviously up to my standards, but he just needs it painted. It's going on a 12 year old car. So I'm just going to DA it out. It's not really worth blocking it. It's going to be flat enough. There's really no dents at all, except that one right there on the front corner. And that's going to be just about invisible anyway, since it's white. So I'm just going to DA this thing. I'll be back when it's ready to paint. All right, I've got the Tahoe hood ready to spray. I'm going to give it a wipe down with uh, wax and grease remover again. I did it once already when I sanded it just to clean all the sludge off. I'm going to give it one final wipe down right before I spray it. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, one coat of white sealer just because it's going to take less base coat that way. I'll put that down first, give it probably 20 to 30 minutes. It's a little bit cool today, it's probably around 60. Come back with probably just two coats of base and two coats of clear. Be back in a second. All right, time for sealer.
Alright, I'll be back soon for the base. Alright, time for clear. I'm going to show you one coat. All right, here it is off the gun. I actually got some fish eyes in it, and I'm not sure why. Cleaned the heck out of it, but every now and then that happens. Luckily, it's white. It's got a more than a normal amount of dust in it. I'm sure whatever did the fish eyes is probably part of that. It may have been the fact that my fan, one of my fans shut down on me again. Right during the first coat of clear. So it may have just been the overspray that was hanging around. Sometimes I think when the overspray hangs out in the air, it lands on the panel and causes fish eyes. But it's definitely salvageable. I'll just buff it out a little bit, which I was going to do anyway to get the dust out. Once I get that polished, uh, the areas I'm going to polish, probably end up doing the whole thing, but I'll, uh, I'll show you the final product. I actually decided not to uh, film the base coat on this because the sealer was white. You wouldn't have been able to see me put it on anyway. All right, the Tahoe hood's set up for about two days now. I just ran a 1500 grit disc over it dry just to knock the, the tops off the, uh, the dust. Now I'm going through and I'm finding my dust like this. Where I've got a, a glossy spot around it. See those right there? Travel across the hood. I've, I've already hit some of these. There's another one. There's another one. 
this just highlights the dust so I go around with the with the little block here I'm using the pink tile cut sheets for this since it's white I don't really have to worry about uh, scratches I, I don't really have to refine them too much I'll go over it with the 3000 grit Trizac disc after this that'll take this uh, this scratch out. I can go over with the black to refine it a little bit, but this will be fine on the white. I've done the other side over there. Still need to go down past the uh, the ridge. I didn't run, run the disc over that. I'm going to do it all by hand because it's it's slick enough to leave it, but I got to get the dust out. I'll probably take a piece of 2,000 grit uh, sandpaper and just rub that. But I'm going to go go ahead through and find all the dust this way. I'm just going to follow the light everywhere I find one. I'm gonna take the pink sheet like right there. And just rub it over the spot till it disappears, till I don't have a glo glossy ring around it anymore. Put that one there. It's actually a fairly tall one. I'll come back to that, but this spot here, I'm just gonna rub it down, just plane it with this till it's gone. I got a little bit left to do here, and I'll be back when I get ready to do the 3000 grit. All right, I'm ready for the 3000. This is what the disc looks like. It's a foam disc. I'm just gonna mist it and keep it wet. I'm gonna start in the middle so that I don't drag the hose over it and scratch it. Going this way, you'll end up scratching what, you, what you've already done. So I'm gonna start in the middle and this way. This actually puts a little bit of the gloss back into it. Once I see that gloss coming back, I know I'm almost finished and I'll run over it one or two more times. one more time and I'll wipe it down and show you what it looks like here it is after the 3000 it's almost glossed back out about halfway see over here I still got the 1500 grit in it and over here it's back to about half gloss look straight down on it it's a little bit dull but at an angle it's slick back out Still got to do the other side over there uh, with the 3000, then I'll come back with the compound. Okay, here it is complete. Really going to be hard to tell any difference from earlier, but got all the dust out. Pretty nice, even texture to it. Should be happy with this.
pretty good gloss on it. I'm assuming it matches well. I got to get the paint mixed to the VIN, but I don't have the vehicle. They're going to come pick it up tomorrow, so it should be fine. Catch you on the next one.